Are you ready? The fourth key. Spend time praying for your life and your destiny. That is the fourth key. You want to actualize destiny, you must spend time. Invest time, in fact, that's the word. Invest time praying for your life and your destiny. Oh, may God help you believe this thing I'm teaching. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must spend time praying for your life. It's good to intercede. I've taught you on intercession. It's good to pray for people. But there are times you have to honestly zoom the attention on you and your destiny. And invest time, generate energy, praying for your life and praying for your destiny. Apostle, but I thought you were praying for me. I will continue to pray for you as a man of God. But even Jesus is praying for you. Even for those who are suffering, he's interceding for them too. If you don't take responsibility over your destiny and pray till you tear off the gates. Listen, especially for those of you, if you come from a background where you know that you are the first to do what you are about to do, you are the one who breaks the iron gate. You better pray. You better pray. Grandfather tried it and died. Grandmother tried it and died. Siblings tried it and died. Now you are the one. That iron gate has never been broken. You must pray. The one who is grandfather or grandmother at least open part of the gate. It's just for him to finish opening it. That one's life is easier. For you there is a chain on it and there is a spirit holding the chain. Lord, I will not fail in life. Days become weeks. Weeks become months. What are you doing? I am praying. You are just lazying around. Don't call prayer lazying around. There is vision and purpose connected to it. Somebody say, I will pray. One more time, say, I will pray. Matthew chapter 4, please, from verse 1. This is Jesus preparing to begin his ministry. Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, the Bible says. Next verse. When he had what? Fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You would think that because he was Jesus, he had already... Listen, look at Jesus. He discovered already his place. He was determined to fulfill it. He had spent time getting knowledge. From age 12, he was in the temple. And you would think just because he had acquired knowledge, it was over. The Bible says he prayed and fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And not even hunger stopped him. I don't know any great man. I may be wrong. I'm learning too. But I don't know any great man, especially in the kingdom and in ministry, who cannot point seasons of his life where he fasted the kind of fast that even the devil will look with shock and say ah this person you have energy and it's easier to fast when you have not made it yet that's why it's good to because all the distractions are less how much do you have that temptation will come you you focus and fast yes sir whether you fasted or not, you were not even going to eat very well after all. So you, you use the opportunity. You are praying, giving yourself an excuse. Are we together? Mark chapter 1, please. Mark chapter 1 from verse 35. Mark chapter 1, 35. This was Jesus after a busy day. He had started ministry. So we see him praying even before ministry would start. Now ministry started already and he was doing so well. Morning till night, busy schedules. And the Bible says in the morning, rising up a great while. Everybody say discipline. Hmm. He went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. There prayed you must pray there are forces that will try to fight you from starting 
if they cannot succeed they will be waiting for you at the gate of honor so that they will bring you shame don't you think because you started the devil will fold his arms the bible said he left jesus for a season every great man here listen let me tell you if you think because you are great and everything is working everything is fine think again go and ask there is a skill that maintains greatness one of it is the consistent fortification of yourself with prayer people are praying for you but you must pray for yourself because when satan sees that you are high up there he will begin to scheme things to make sure because he knows that in your coming down is the coming down of many so instead of attacking two million people he will attack you there are battles that you have no business fighting but when you become great it's a battle that must involve you please obtain grace to pray everybody say i will pray apostle thank god me i'm not in ministry i'm just in business pray more the king of tyre is sitting where you are there that is his headquarters have you heard about tyre and sedon tyre and sidon you must pray the devil would not commit millions and billions to your hands when he knows that your heart is already inclined to the kingdom now go and ask people who practice occultism before they become wealthy they come under all kinds of oaths oaths with blood incisions to say listen these are the do's and don'ts as far as using this money is concerned you can't there are wealthy people today who cannot give you more than ten thousand they are not greedy it is based on the oath that brought that wealth to the point that even their physical parents or siblings can be in the hospital deathbed but they are not allowed to bring that money you think they are greedy it is the condition that was given to them that's why the bible says the blessing of the lord make it rich and adds no sorrow are we together spend time praying first thessalonians chapter 3 second thessalonians chapter 3 from verse 1 and 2 second thessalonians chapter 3 from verse 1 and 2 finally brethren pray for us that the word of the lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you verse 2 and that we be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith do not assume that just because everybody is laughing at or laughing with you they mean you well this is a world that is full of wickedness the bible says this world is a habitation of cruelty are we together why must this family be rising why must this man of god be rising why must this sister be rising why must this politician be rising why must this career person be rising look at jesus innocently bringing glory to the father and a few people came together and said look we have to do something about this man he's stealing our show oh but prayer is powerful you can get into that control room and begin to make things he said has thou commanded thy morning please obtain grace to pray for your destiny in the name of jesus invest time praying invest time praying invest time praying don't pray out of fear pray as a not just as a principle of survival but your prayer will give room for you you can like you can share and um, god's grace will continue to make it active with contents that would that would bless you and um subscribe to our, our, our youtube channel and you can like and share all our other pages our platforms and the lord himself will truly bless you